U.S. be bracing itself um, for Russia saying that it's likely to use this new kind of missile again. Uh, what does this mean in terms of changing the strategy uh, or the dimensions of this conflict with Ukraine? I don't think it means that we should change the strategy or the dimensions of the conflict. I think that we have to do a better job of providing Ukraine the, uh, the means to defend itself. Um, we may not be able to stop these missiles directly. We will find out where they're launched from. Ukraine's going to have its own ballistic missiles here very soon. And, uh, and so the war will take another step in escalation. But I would say this, Frederica, it's been a mistake, in my view, to go tit for tat on this with Russia. From the beginning, we'd have been much better off if the president had simply said to Vladimir Putin, you're not going to win. We're going to do everything we can to keep you from winning. Don't start it. And instead, um, we went to Harvard and we talked to people that said, oh, it's a nuclear. It might be like the Cuban Missile Crisis. Make sure you give your adversary a way out and, uh, and, and tell them what you're going to do so there's no surprises. And so it's been two and a half years. It's been hundreds of thousands of casualties, probably more than 100,000 Ukrainian dead as we played this game out. And, uh, and it hasn't brought an end to the conflict. Putin's going to keep this up as long as he believes he can win in the long term. And we're not going to be able to stop it unless we convince him he can't and we can't afford to have him win. How, how would the U.S. or allies convince Russia that it cannot win? Got to provide Ukraine the means to defend itself and you've got to take the diplomatic measures that show greater determination by the West. An invitation for Ukraine to NATO membership would be a good way to start.